<laughs> Hello, uh, good morning everybody, uh, thank you uh, for you to be there to listen to this talk, uh, to this panel, um, a very thank you to uh, uh, INSTAR uh, for welcoming us here, to Samuel Riera and Derbis Campos from the Arbwood Project Cuba uh, uh, with the exhibition that is just behind us, uh, which is quite interesting uh, regarding also our presence here, uh, because we are going to talk about the interconnection between art brut, outsider art, and contemporary art uh, in terms of exhibition, but also in terms of praxis related to education, related to experience, related to experimentation too. So we'll, we have a long way to talk uh, together. Uh, we beg your pardon for our Franklish. Uh, we will try to manage the things uh, uh, the better as possible <laughs> together, Susanne. Uh, uh, so, uh, just uh, I, I want to introduce my, my friends and, and me also. Uh, my name is Baptiste Brun. Uh, I'm an art historian. Uh, I, I work a lot on contemporary art and art brut, uh, mixed together. Um, and uh, uh, I present you here uh, Anne Francoise Rouche. Uh, she's a Belgian star. Uh, she uh, founded uh, a few years ago uh, La S Grand Atelier, which is a very specific place, an art place, an art center, uh, uh, where the question of mixity is essential uh, between contemporary artists and people uh, uh, so-called disabled. And we will talk maybe about the terminology, uh, disability versus ability. Um, and uh, she, she runs this space. She's the, the director of Laes Grand Atelier. And Noeli Glorou. Uh, Noeli Glorou is an independent curator. You, curate, you curated a lot of uh, exhibition. Uh, we can talk about uh, Seija Stoichka, this famous uh, Rome artist uh, who uh, experienced uh, the terrible uh, lager, the, the camp, uh, during the uh, uh, Second World War. And um, you also uh, uh, exhibit plenty of different uh, uh, artists uh, during collective exhibition and so on. Maybe you will talk about that. And you were one of the former uh, uh, pillars of the Maison Rouge, the, the regretted Maison Rouge in Paris, which was an, uh, a very famous place for this question of mixity uh, in the art scene, uh, uh, mixing art and contemporary art uh, during the 20,000 and 2010. Uh, it's it ended in 18, in 18 2018. So um, maybe um, before we talk about the specific place, uh, Anne Francoise, can you introduce what is Les Grand Atelier? What is the project? Uh, maybe we can start the, the images uh, to show you the it's a art center. 
um, in I, I will I want to apologize because I'm very bad in English. <laughs> so um, we are in the east of Belgium, uh, not so close for the border with uh, Germany, and uh, we are in the countryside in. Uh, old caserne barrack and so uh, I started this project uh, in the early 19th uh, with a little little atelier uh, because I, am, um, I work with people with disabilities and so I discover many skills with them and I, I come from a art school and so it was um, uh, a shock for me to discover this kind of people because uh, they have many skills and I'd like to uh, to do something with them uh, without any uh, knowledge about uh, Art Brut or anything else. Uh, it was the first time I, I meet uh, uh, people with disabilities but it was really uh, uh, important because it's uh, the the meeting who was really important for me to to discover this kind of people. So I decided to to start a project, and um, um, immediately I I do want to do an artistic project, not an art therapy project, not an occupational I don't know in in English uh, project, but really an art project with them because I was really. Um, uh, sure that they have many skills and my job is to um, to let them uh, do something great to exprime um, exprime uh, express the, 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 what they want to do and so I'm I, I'm just um, like um, uh, an accompaniator so what is the Yes, a companion for them to help them to to uh, uh, explain the, the skills. So maybe we can start the the PowerPoint. The PowerPoint please. to well, uh, there is uh, the Vielsalm is uh, at the north of Luxembourg, very close to Germany. It's, it's really uh, the countryside. It's a very very little town uh, village, and so it's important to to uh, understand where we are situated because it's um, this context uh, is important in the story of Laes because we were very isolated and so that's why we I, I, I wanted to um, to um, uh, meet many people and to, to do some projects with people and not let them alone and close in uh, the countryside. So next slide please. So this is uh, the, the atelier, the, the entrance. No, it's an uh, old cousin barracks. So that's why they have many uh, old, uh, long hole. And uh, next slide. Uh, so it's the painting studio with Irene Gera, one of, of uh, a famous artists now. And uh, the, the work of Joseph Lambert, uh, who is in many collection now. Uh, at uh, the collection of L'Art Brut in Lausanne, but also in Pompidou right now, in uh, Le Lame uh, at Lille. Uh, it's a famous artist. Next slide. Um, so the textile studio, because I start with uh, a painting studio, a drawing studio, but um, uh, year by year we, we develop many activities because we can see new skills so we we propose new atelier um, each year so it's a grow up very very slowly um, uh, next slide and so we we experiment many many uh, disciplines uh, uh, about digital and uh, Animation, uh, video, video, caption uh, movies, yes, on, and so uh, on. sculpture, music, theater, performance, comics, yeah, a lot of <laughs> so comics next, too. Right. Next slide. So, um, uh, many um, activities around um, graphic uh, and uh, comics also, and painting also. So. Uh, some of them are very um, connected 
to their own language, their own work, and some of them, uh, so it's uh, Jean Leclerc, it's a comic drawer, we, and we have um, um, a work about, publi uh, we publish many books also. So it's important, and it was the opening of an exhibition of Jean in Paris, so he was very proud to present uh, his book. So next slide. And, oh, it was the, the, it's a, a part of the team of LAES because we have a, a little team with a um, <coughs> leader of an uh, atelier, but many uh, people who, who come uh, in residence and many connections in the cultural field also. That's why it's a, a, a Yibari, it's a big community of artists and cultural uh, leaders. And this is Barbara, one of our famous artists also in textile performance. And so it's uh, the music uh, studio is Paquito Bolino, uh, Marseille activist in um, in the graphic uh, field, and so he, he practices music also with us. He comes regularly in Laes. Uh, it's a part of the the band named the Chulers Division. It's a band with uh, hip hop music, and Mr. Pimpon. Uh, one of our artists in residence, and um, so may, you can see all the the field we can uh, explore with um, the, this kind of atelier. Uh, uh, next slide, please. Uh, so it's the uh, cinema d'animation. Je sais pas comment dit. The movie studio. Well, the movie studio. And the next slide. Uh, and so it's a kind of collaboration in the comics field between Dominique Théat uh, at left and Dominique Goblet, famous uh, comics drawer in Belgium. And it's a, a project, a collective project around the, 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 the story of this caserne. And with Moulinex, a French uh, artist who was in residence and uh, we, we'd like to um, revisit the, the story of the, the war and because we are in, uh, in the area of the Battle of the Bugle in Belgium. And so we would like to, to do something in respect uh, of the story, but to, to, uh, to, to reinvent the, the story uh, with our artists because the, you, you can see a guy with the, the red flame um, he was is very very uh, obsessive with the war, and so that's why we developed a project about the war, and and it it began a, a, a collective project. And that's so, so maybe um, the idea we can shuffle the images maybe, and uh, just to talk about this question of collaboration between yeah. artists from the outside and uh, uh, the residents uh, of Les Grand Atelier. One of the specific topic of the place is to yeah. uh, 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 um, gather people to, together and uh, <coughs> that they can experiment together. Yeah, it's, in, it's important to say that the, the La Esque uh, project is um, a balance of art and so, a human project. It's all the time human and art. And uh, my aim is to um, uh, let them uh, to, to get uh, the, the rights, the, the, um, the, the, the human rights, because uh, in the disability field it's very complicated and they, are, they have no choice and they, they can't meet people, they are all the time in some uh, institution and it is very um, repetitive and they have no choice. So, and we are very isolated, that's why I I decide to invite some artists because we have no area, uh, cultural um, uh, tools uh, around us. And so we have a big place with many space and it's a, a, a beautiful area to welcome people. That's why I, I'd like to invite uh, artists because I think it's, a, it's a really a human right to... to um, uh, to share something with other artists and not let them uh, uh, isolate it and they are not um, uh, in souffrance. 
ils ne souffrent pas. Ils ne souffrent pas. Ils ont besoin d'être help to parce que le handicap met des murs. Et donc, mon job est de mettre down les murs et de les laisser share many des expériences. C'est pourquoi nous commençons à inviter des artistes contemporains to experiment with them and my my um, uh, experience is to to test and to experiment and, and i think after i i'd like to uh, to go ahead and so to try something and my um, my limit is only the the respect of what they want to do if they want to to collaborate It's not a problem if they want. Say, oh no, it's too much for me. It's not a problem. But I, I propose many things, and so that's why we we restart to do this kind of uh, residence. Just, I'm sorry for the English. That's okay. <laughs> that's okay. Um, you, maybe g give me the catalog. So, so uh, uh, you, you uh, together, uh, Noelig and uh, and Francoise, you, you you just created this uh, present exhibition. Actually, mm -hmm. it's in South of France. Uh, in Set, uh, the, the city of Set, uh, in a museum com, called Le Miam, Le Musée International des Arts Modestes. We can translate this by International Museum of Modest Art, uh, which is a, a project from an artist, Hervé Di Rosa, who, who uh, built this uh, museum uh, 15 years ago, something like that. And so uh, uh, he invited you uh, to present uh, uh, the work of Laes Grand Atelier uh, in, mm -hmm. in this place. Maybe we can uh, uh, just uh, pass the book to everybody. <laughs> And uh, um, so you, you decided to work uh, uh, talking with Hervé Di Rosa and the, the, mm -hmm. the, the, the team of the, the Miam with Noelig Leroux. And Noelig, I, I wanted to just to ask you uh, what was your first impression when you came to Laes? Hello. First, I, I knew, I knew uh, Laes uh, because we, we presented at uh, La Maison Rouge uh, one work, uh, uh, The Army Secret, uh, in, a, in a collective uh, uh, show. And um, so I knew this uh, a little bit, this uh, what, what, what they did. Oh, sorry, what they do. <laughs> Uh, at Laes, at La and um, when uh, when well, uh, and Francoise uh, decided to to well, uh, to work with me uh, for this uh, e exhibition, and we decided to uh, uh, to to present the, the story of uh, Laes, uh, and uh, to uh, to to. Um, To, 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 to take on, uh, comment dire, uh, the, le fil rouge, uh, the, the, the well, red wire, uh, the question of the, the story, the narration, and uh, because um, uh, at last, uh, it is a, a point very important uh, in, the, um, in the work by the artist and to, uh, for, um, for the, there are a lot of collaboration and each collaboration um, uh, come on sorry uh, yes and um, for each at, at the end there is a, a publication it is a, there are a lot of stories and for the for this artist uh, it is um, a point important to uh, uh, to Uh, reappropriated uh, her, um, her own story also and to, uh, to, to write her story, their story. And um, um, so in this exhibition, we, we present uh, uh, um, a selection of, uh, of the... Maybe you can stop the, the slide, please. Thank you. All this, yes, it's good. And um, and uh, so we 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 present uh, we present um, the different uh, 
works um, as a como como explique um, uh, you, you wanted to tell the story of Laes and the experimentations yes, and experiment the narratives that are in, in place with um, <laughs> sorry wait try <coughs> Uh, for this kind of exhibition, uh, we uh, we start by the environment uh, of the, the Ardennes, of the, the east of Belgium, and, uh, and the, this country uh, very special, and uh, <coughs> the Belgian uh, uh, culture. So, because if you know Belgium, it's a, a crazy la crazy uh, land. The people is really crazy, and so it's not like in France and not like in Germany. Bel Belgian people is very special, so <coughs> there is many hum uh, humor, humor. humor. Many, uh, it's uh, the the country of the surrealism, and so uh, it's important to to connect this kind of project in the the environment. So we start the exhibition by this, and so we 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 decided to present. The, the, the beginning of the collaboration, it was at the, the beginning of the, um, in 2008 or six, And so we present many collaboration in the field of narrative projects. And after the photography project and perform project. And uh, the title is Fiction Modest because it's, it was a very, very little project uh, at the beginning. And so it uh, it completely up to me now. It doesn't own to me. Uh, the 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 project is more important that I I can't expect. And so that's when, and now we experiment in the field of digital. And so that's why reality augmentée. I don't know expanded reality. Voilà. Yeah. So it it was the beginning with a very modest project to the. Um, new uh, digital project and so we present um, a collaboration with artists um, uh, in the in digital field also and so sculpture also and many uh, disciplines to to show um, the all the possibilities uh, there is no limit to to work it's not because they have some uh, intellectual disabilities that it's, uh, we have to be limited when we work with them. Many, many things are possible and that's, that's why we would like to, to open the, all the, the fields and not to be uh, restricted in the field of art brut also. We, we decided to mix uh, contemporary artists and the art brut artists from Laes and because it's a community artist. And it's important for us to be here now because uh, the documentary is about the collective project and LAES is a collective project also. And so we, uh, we try to uh, interroge, to, to question also the collective in the field of art brut and by mixity with a contemporary art. And um, in, when we, we organize the opening, it was very um, um, important for me because I'm, I met me, uh, all the people, handicapped people, contemporary artists, uh, the collaborators, the cultural collaborators, and I, I, m my feeling was, oh, it's a family uh, meeting. It's, it was crazy to see all these the people involved in our project in the south of France, and so that's it was really a, uh, a collective uh, feeling that we, we build this project together all the time. It's not my project. I can't do it alone. And, more, and now it's more important that uh, I, I, I was dreaming about. <laughs> there is an important thing with this question of the collective and um, this relation to the Arbrut paradigm. Uh, in a way, uh, historically, and that was the, the, the topic of the talk yesterday from Sarah Lombardi, who's the ad director of uh, La Collection de l'Art Brut in Lausanne. Uh, uh, she told us about the beginning of the concept with uh, the work of Jean Dubuffet, designated people uh, uh, as 
belonging to the so-called Art Brut, and it was in a very individual uh, um, uh, representation, thinking, uh, because it was related to question of genius, to the artist as an autistic people, and, and so on, whereas actually in Laes, uh, you, you take the, the other uh, uh, way to, to think about Arbut, where Arbut is also uh, some kind of a collective uh, experience. And what struck me uh, in set and talking with uh, uh, artists like uh, uh, Pimpin or like uh, Paquito Boluno is that they used to say uh, uh, that, that struck them very hardly uh, in their behavior when they came to Laes. Uh, in fact, what was quite important, it was the transformation uh, uh, they, they, they leave uh, uh, with the, 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 the residents they, they had in, uh, in Laes. So, so it's um, some kind of school. Yes, maybe. Um... Uh, it's, when I start this kind of mixed project, I, I was sure that it, it should be interesting for my uh, little bit artists because they, they can uh, learn something, new, new uh, skills, and meet and people. And for me, the, the aim was to give them back a positive image of themselves. Because when you, you have a handicap, a mental handicap, all the time you just meet your family or professional and everything is about your, your disabilities. So I, I was very sure that it should be great for us to meet people that doesn't want um, to come uh, to meet disabled people, but artist people. And so it's, it was completely different for the um, image of themselves. But I, I didn't... Um, uh, imagine that it can transform a contemporary artist also. And so it's true that some of them uh, told me um, it, there is a before meeting these kind of people and after. And some of them uh, change their own uh, practice after meet uh, our people. And so it, it was a surprise for me. I, I didn't... Uh, imagine this so and so yes maybe it's kind of cool because um, um, I think the to learn is a human right so that why we, we we don't let them in obsessive practice and we propose new uh, new tools we don't um, uh, interven intervenir on a, we don't do any inter inter intervention on their works, but we can propose some, uh, uh, yes, yeah, some size or something like that. And, but they, they um, have some progression in their uh, work. And so to, to learn is a human right also that, that why uh, do I have to do about this? It's new, natural to learn. So. And all the time is to remember that it's a, it's a human project before uh, art project. I don't know if it's clear. Yes, yes. Yes, and to increase the the, the writing of the each artist and uh, and create also a, a territory, a common territory where artists uh, with. Uh, uh, deficient artist, uh, mental deficient artist, and artist, uh, professional artist, or normal artist, <laughs> I don't know what is normal artist, uh, can work together. And, uh, and in this exhibition, uh, we, we present art, uh, work by artists uh, from La S, but uh, we don't uh, not notice who is uh, deficient or not deficient. It is a work and after there is two uh, or more um, different uh, individuality, but it is a collaborative uh, work. And, uh, and uh, about this question of uh, on, apprentissage, uh, learning, uh, it is to... Uh, uh, yes, to to um, 
yes, propose uh, the possibility of uh, a development of uh, uh, come on, the, of the, uh, de la parole, quoi, of the of the speech of uh, to, to is... not say always the same uh, the the question of the repetition of the same uh, jest and uh, no it's uh, okay there is a repetition but uh, you can op uh, open different new uh, doors uh, with uh, new uh, with different proposition and different meeting with other artists and also it is uh, something very important it is uh, uh, with the other artist, the, um, the artist from La S, uh, understand what what is artist and came uh, became uh, become sorry artist too, and um, and not uh, only a deficient uh, person. And the the question. Uh, one of the things that uh, question uh, when we talk about Les Grand Atelier and also your work as curators uh, with this uh, exhibition, but also uh, many other exhibitions that you made, um, is the question of language. Because uh, uh, the question of the relationship, uh, the, the question of the, um, the question that some of those people, they don't usually talk uh, the same way uh, uh, as in. Uh, uh, other uh, relationship and how do you manage this question of uh, being beyond language être au, en deçà du langage how, how do you work this question uh, uh, in your choice as curators or in your choice when you want to uh, encourage or to initiate collaboration between uh, different artists from uh, Laes Grand Atelier and uh, those from uh, uh, outside uh, how, how do you work this question of language? Because it's quite difficult. Uh... Yes, but uh, the important for us is uh, to be with them uh, daily and to observe and to um, to take time. Yes, time is really important because some of them need many, many time to to do something, to dare to do something, or to understand something. So. It's uh, for uh, each people, we, we have to be in the observation uh, day, day by day. And it's for me, for example, my uh, office is really uh, close to the atelier to the, because uh, every day they come in my office and it's really important to, uh, they, they have to, uh, to trust me. Uh, if they, they, they don't trust me, it's not possible to propose them uh, experience and meetings because, but now it's uh, easier because at first time they, was, they were very afraid to meet people, but now they are very open and so but they, they have to trust me. And, but it's, we, we must adapt all the time to, to each other and so and sometimes it's more difficult to, to work with contemporary artists than our artists <laughs> so because they have m m uh, the uh, disabled people they have no ego and so they, they are very um, and they have no, no fear to fears to, to start a new experience so uh, it's it's uh, it's um, a living experience all the time with them, but um, uh, it's an engage engagement, an engagement, commitment, commit. Uh, if um, it's implication, yes, we, we. It's not a job like another job because you you work with human people with fragility, so that's why it's a big responsibility. And in the in our community of artists, uh, some of them are really in, involved in the art brut field, and they have uh, uh, own an individual uh, work, and some of them are very open to experience. So it's different, but uh, for 
Um, I, I work with all the, the field and culture in, with uh, the Museum of Arbrut, the collection of Lausanne, but also with uh, Contemporary Museum and also with uh, the um, uh, underground scene. The underground wa uh, was the first to, to trust in me and they are very open, so is the uh, some of alternative uh, scene uh, in culture. It, so I, I work with uh, every uh, kind of uh, structure uh, if they respect the works. So we, when, re when the respect is there, it's, it's uh, okay for us to show the, and to participate to concert on many, many things. And also, they, um, they are different uh, pro pro profile of uh, person from, for the artist uh, uh, from Lies, because some are, uh, I don't know if it is a uh, the, the good term in, uh, in uh, trisomic. Uh, uh, comment? Si Syndrome of Down. Voilà, Syndrome of Down. Uh, other are... Um, a, a, a deficiency because uh, it's uh, after uh, a crash uh, in cars or another it's a, a social uh, story uh, so there is a very wide spectrum um, maybe if you can put the slide on please Mexico here is a uh, Ground control. Thank you. That's, uh, it's the entrance of the Miam. And so the, this uh, vitrine in the Miam is uh, uh, my own story because they uh, gave me some little presents. And so, uh, there is many rememberings uh, of all the, um, the experience. Uh, we, Yes, and so memories of my my life with them. Or, or so we start the exhibition with them, and so because um, I live with the, the, the people, it's uh, for 30, 30 years now. So it's all my life, and so it's in, it was important to to present all the li little memories. Next slide, please. So it's a um, contemporary artist uh, who made some uh, photography uh, about the, the, the countryside we live in. And we start with this environment. Next slide. And so uh, it's um, a real story, a uh, work from uh, Stefan Tide, contemporary artist we invite for this exhibition. And I think it's the... Uh, um, a good sentence for uh, the, the Laes. It's a real story uh, because it's a human story. It's not only art. So, no. yeah. Oh, wait, also, wait. <laughs> so, um, so, you can see some uh, works uh, exhibit. Uh, next slide. So it's a uh, wood engraving, and we did uh, a movie with uh, engraving wood. It was a big, big stuff. Uh, it's a, a collaboration between a contemporary artists and one of our artists. Next slide. So it's a um, work from Jean Leclerc, Jean Leclerc about Tintin, an institution in Belgium. And so, and with another artist, contemporary artist, um, Capitaine Longchamp. Yeah. So we, we, and so it's a, art, uh, a guy we invited for the exhibition. He, it was uh, his work when he was a child. And so we'd like to, to, to see this because it was very inventive, spontaneous, but it's not art brut, but it was interesting because he, he, he was a child and he, he wanted to, to uh, tell stories and so he, he was very obsessive uh, to, to, um, uh, to do some um, uh, camera and so, and, uh, sorry? Dictionary, yes, he, he, he invented, invented a, a language. And so, 
we we'd like to 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 show many um, inventive uh, fields in creation. So next next slide, please. So a book from Joseph Lambert. Uh, Joseph Lambert uh, was my neighbor was, uh, when I was a child, and he was a worker in a special uh, factory. And on, in, when he was 50, he, he stopped the, the work, and he, he decided to, to come in the studio. I was very surprised to, to meet him again, and he decided to, to uh, write his life. So uh, he... And the, this work is really uh, obsessive and very uh, individual, and he, he writes all uh, the time his, his life. But I don't understand his life, but <laughs> the next slide. Uh, so uh, it's a little uh, movie about um, the journey on the moon uh, by Méliès, because um, one of our, our artists is very inspired by Méliès, and, and Méliès is for me uh, an artist very um, important because he was uh, in the um, he, 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 he experiment and he, he, he has many imagination and so with um, craft, how do you bricolage and craft and it's like Laes. You can say bricolage too. Right. Bricolage. Yeah. Well, okay. <laughs> Next slide. Yes, uh, it's important to say that they are not isolated um, for um, for the culture. They have many. How uh, um, do Yes, uh, it's uh, just um, to, to say that uh, all these artists in this uh, studio at Laes uh, are very um, uh, nourri, uh, come on, they're uh, fighting, but uh, empowered, yes, by uh, a lot of uh, references, uh, art, uh, movies, <coughs> uh, comics. Uh, it's... Um, it, uh, it's a, they, yes, very cu cultural. Yeah, yes. They have their own uh, culture and a popular culture, but they they learn many new things, and and then we mix popular culture and uh, there is no uh, hierarchy in hierarchy, is that? Hierarchy. In in the culture, they have their own culture. So you, we met some. Uh, project um, based on their culture and the, the contemporary artist brings new culture and so it's a mix all the time and so we have for example one of our our guy uh, is a specialist of expressionism um, German uh, movie because the test when the wood engraving the, the um, 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 work yeah, about uh, the expressionism, the German expressionism. So he, he became a specialist. <laughs> it was crazy. Mm. But, yes, uh, it's a part of uh, the learning uh, yeah. of Atlas. Uh, Next slide. So it's uh, an installation about textile and uh, textile use in performance with a drawing of our artist. And so installation. Um, we test also the 3D um, Print. printing uh, um, by uh, some uh, characters of Dominique Théat in comics and uh, a, a contemporary artist uh, um, modelized the, the, the characters and so test by 3D uh, printing. And so there is some collaboration also in uh, comics. Um, Many think uh, so next slide so it's the the textile from the project uh, Ar uh, army secret it's quite important that kind of project because uh, uh, performing clauses and performing objects that are made in Les Grand Atelier it's uh, kind of use uh, uh, yeah, in and, the, in and the this center. project is also important because it's a, a project between our artist and contemporary artist and it was the first um, uh, corpus um, um, 
who enter in a collection, uh, collection of art brut. It was the Bruno de Charme collection, and Bruno de Charme designed to, uh, decide to um, include this kind of project in, in uh, uh, art brut collection. It was the very first time, and so I, it was important uh, in the, the story of Laes because at the beginning of the residence, uh, the people from L'Art Brut say, well, what are you doing? It's not possible to mix the people from L'Art Brut and with people from contemporary art. And, and I all time uh, answer, what? I, I, work, I work with people and uh, I, I, do, I do not want to close them and to let them alone and uh, suffer or something like that. It's finished this time. And so when Bruno Descharmes decided to include this kind of project, it was really a new way for the Arbrut. Uh, and so the Arbrut um, uh, understands that we are in the 21st century. We are not in uh, the field of the time of Dubuffet. And so the, the Arbrut uh, involved. And so I ask a new kind of uh, practice. And so it, it was a real important time in our story. So next slide. And so it's a project about religion. Uh, religion is still important in Belgium and in the east of Belgium. And so it's an, uh, an example also because uh, it was our, one of our artists decided to, to paint some... Uh, les non? Virgin. No, les, les non, les bonnes soeurs. Les bonnes soeurs, uh, uh, the, the nuns, yes. And so after that, the, another guy says, oh, I'd like to, to paint a, a, a pop. And so after, oh, me too, I'd like to, because they have all a story, a personal story with the religions. So it became a, a collective project, but we, we didn't a pro, a project to, to let them to find. So uh, it's uh, important because sometimes they decide to, to, to do something we, we can imagine. And so uh, many people in the uh, studio <coughs> decide to work about religions. And so uh, they made many things. And this piece of virgins are, not, uh, are now included in the collection of Antoine de Galbert, uh, the director and the, the founder of the Maison Rouge, in a contemporary uh, collection. And, and, uh, and um, comment, au bout, au fond, comment on dit, au fond de l'image. <laughs> you can, see, and the, at the back, you can see um, the uh, mystic, uh, the annual mystic uh, from the Van Eyck brother. It's um, a very famous painting of the primitive uh, Flemish painters in Belgium. And so uh, Irene Gerard decided uh, to, uh, uh, to do his personal vision of this classic painting. So that's why they are not uh, isolated of culture, they, they are feed of culture. So. But she, she decided by herself. And next slide. Uh, the, the Virgin. <coughs> And it's, uh, we invited an uh, art brut uh, artist uh, named uh, Jean-Marie Massou. He was uh, uh, like an hermit in, the, uh, in the, the forest in the south of France. And he realized many, many things alone in the forest. Now he's dead. And so it was uh, like, um, it's a kind of freedom, really. We would like to, to show uh, some artists uh, without any um, contraint, uh, any limits. He was alone and he was really free. And so it was important for us to, to show this kind of artist also. We didn't want to be just focused on lies. We'd like to invite some other artists. But in relation of the, the mood of the, 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 the exhibition. And 
maybe um, we can go also to question and to have a, a debate uh, with you. Uh, if you have questions uh, and so on, just what um, is quite important also, I think about, you know, this question of the color line uh, regarding the context of segregation in the US uh, during the 19th and 20th century, but there's some kind of a psychic line too, and it's important, uh, I think we are here to, to talk about that question of the psychic line, uh, this line that uh, separates uh, uh, people uh, regarding this question of ability and disability and I, I think I hope that you 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 see that in this work the question is to try to be on an horizontal plan and, and just to get rid of systematic assignations uh, assignments uh, uh, regarding this question of uh, a difference in terms of uh, 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 psychic or, or, or mental ability so we, we don't want to let uh, people uh, believe is that, uh, uh, that people with disability are the same of other people. It's not true. They need some help. They need um, many things uh, around them. I'm, I try to explain you in English, but my image is um, it's like some uh, diamonds um, with skills. But the handicap pull many bar, uh, barrier, bar, bar, front re, no barrier, vraiment obstacle. Uh, barrier. Barrier. Barriers all around there. And my job and our job is to pull down all the, 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 the barrier and let's, but they, they, they must be uh, helped to, to do that. It's, so it's not um, a phantasm uh, of, uh, uh, assimilation it's not possible they need our help and but now the um, the disability is not the the, the, the I, comment dire, le, la priorité de, we ask all the time the the norm la norme, ça? Les norme. The norm. we we all time ask the norm all the time and the last thing for me more and more uh, I think it's a political project, really political project. And so uh, I don't know if I answer correctly it's, it's to your... It's a good, uh, good way to open the discussion, maybe. Uh, if you have questions, uh, yeah. Um, thank you for your Let presentation. Um, I have a question. Joker, um, uh -huh. Yeah, I don't like that. Um, my question is, for example, if I buy a Joseph Lambert piece at Kevin Morris in New York, yeah, and I pay many, many thousand euros, how, um, how much does the artist get? Do you have a special model for yes. that? Yes, we, we work with a lawyer and a judge and the families, and we have some um, agreement with uh, all the families and the representants. So the uh, LAES is considered like producer because they don't pay anything for any project, any travel, anything. So we, we get the, uh, it's a 50-50. And uh, now uh, the, the money for, um, uh, the, for Joseph, for example, is on the, um, uh, in the, uh, the, uh, an account, a bank account, but for them it's not really um, concrete. So now I, I try to ask them what do you want to do with uh, money? And so it's important because for them they understand that it's by my skills, by my work that I can access to something and, and it's all the time the positive image of, of themselves they understand that it's by their work then they, some of them want to just to to buy a little thing but because they, they, it's difficult for them to for them to consider the money the value of the money but but for um, to, to answer to you it's really uh, right for the with the lawyer and when with the, the the judge, and we were the the first in Belgium to to organize something. We tr we work 
two years to and it's also about the uh, the spread of the the photography the image of them on the network and and in books everything is re really um, uh, now uh, uh, bien <laughs> right. uh, yeah, you uh, you understand <laughs> No, because I ask, I come from Austria, and there is the uh, Guggen and the House of uh, the Artists in Guggen, and they also say it's 50-50, but if you then investigate the, the part of the artist, the 50, then there is deducted the material, the insurance costs, the transportation costs, uh, the, the costs for the computer to... Uh, to uh, sort of write the the invoices and mm. so on, yeah. So uh, the relation uh, skips, yeah. It's not fifty-fifty. So, so it's, um, uh, but they would never say, yeah. This is my research. Anyway. Yeah? No, in Laes, it's it, that's why I say I'm a producer. So the part of Laes is to uh, put in activities and to to buy something new uh, materials and such. So but the part of artist is for the artist. Yes, okay. and the, the judge in Belgium are very uh, attentive. Uh, we, we can't do uh, what we do. It's important, but uh, yes. Okay, and I have an additional question. How many artists live in Laes? And so we are including a big institution, and this, in this institution there is something like 150 persons with uh, disabilities, but in, in uh, our studio it's something like 30, 32 for the moment who comes, who come, but um, everything is welcome. Uh, sorry, every people is welcome. And so when we, we can observe a desire, for me the desire is important, uh, we, we can ask the, the institution, let them uh, come and more and more. Okay. And so, but, and some of them are not uh, represented in the exhibition, but if it's important for, um, for them to be uh, there, it's good. Uh, we, but we will, yes, I think we welcome something like 30 person, and some of them um, uh, go to the old the atelier, some of them just come for the music atelier one time and they, they choose um, one day or all the week and so it's that it's their choice are, uh, are very important okay thank you <laughs> yes I have do you do you hear me yes no. I have uh, two questions, uh, just practical questions. How do you fin finance finance uh, the institution? Ah. And are there just artists from the French-speaking part of Belgium or also from the German or the um, uh, Flemish part? So your first question, we are... Um, so Belgium is a complicated political p uh, country. So the, uh, all the... Um, uh, Les, les, mat les mat materials of uh, socials are from the Wallonian government and uh, the culture is from uh, Wallonie Bruxelles, the Federation of Wallonie Bruxelles. And so we start to be um, uh, to, to get some finance from the culture ministry uh, in the beginning of the, the 21 century. And it was really important for me to be recognized not by social uh, ministry, but by cultural ministry. And in um, 2019, um, we, re we recognize like uh, uh, art center and uh, art brut and contemporary center. It was uh, the first time in Belgium they recognize as art center with uh, um, people with disabilities. And so it's important because we don't need uh, charity and we don't need um, um, fin finance by just for the handicap. For me, it's our artists and they need to be uh, uh, 
consider like artists. So, and now because we have many exhibition, many um, uh, edition uh, activities, we publish many books and with a publisher in, in Bruxelles, that's why the, the government uh, consider us like an uh, important cultural project in Belgium. And so for me, I'm very proud because that's because uh, artists with disabilities. And your second question? Ah, yes. Uh, the, the most part are from Wallonian and uh, a little part of the... German community, uh, because we are very close to Germany, and so, as you know, yeah, there is a, a German community in Belgium. And now we welcome also French artists, because in France there is no atelier like this, and so uh, there, there are many, many candidatures from France. But in the Flemish part of Belgium, there is some uh, great studio also, and we are connected but the language is a problem in Belgium, as you know. <laughs> yeah. I have one super simple question. What does the S in La S stand for? <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, at, at first, uh, it was La S in two, um, two words, la, uh, like S in Germany. And, uh, but it's uh, from the Wallonian language. It's the... Um, a little place uh, where the, the tree, uh, les êtres, <laughs> les êtres, les, les arbres. Some kind, uh, it's uh, uh, some kind of a, uh, it's an essence of tree in, in uh, and it was the place when I started the, the project in an accommodation place, named La S. And when I moved to the old caravan, uh, it was confusion between the, the the accommodation place and our atelier, so we we decide to uh, call them La and Big S, but uh, it's super S. I don't know, <laughs> but uh, so. <laughs> Well, just to, to thank you for, for being here with, with us and to share all your knowledge, your experiences, working in this kind of very interesting experiences, combining the art brood, because most of the time we only see projects, only relation with art brood, only relation with art, with art brood artists that can be like they are isolated from the rest of the art. And it's not true, you, you can work with them also combining different experiences from different uh, art movement because at the end everything is art and that's the most important and also the human that make that art that is the most important at all. So thank you for being with us and um, we are the pleasure. <laughs> thank you. Thank you.